And before we start, I would like to remind you that for a more detailed information and communication with us, you can go to our knowledge base and join our social networks and Discord. Hey guys, Michi here! This guide will be primarily interesting to those who want to play not only from phones or tablets, but also from a PC or laptop. Although the game is intended for mobile devices, it's not prohibited to use emulators, at least officially. Developers only warn that they do not guarantee the valid working of the game on them. There may be problems with not launching client crashes and etc. First, let's figure out what an emulator is. The emulator is a special program on the PC that serves to simulate the operation of the Android system, without losing functionality and distorting the result. To date, there are more than 10 varieties of such programs, some more, some less popular. They are designed for different tasks, have different set of capabilities, advantages and disadvantages. Let us dwell on the minimum characteristic of the PC on which emulator can already be installed. RAM must be at least 4 gigs. You will need to allocate enough memory for emulator itself, otherwise you will get a lagging emulator on a lagging computer. The processor must support virtualization technology and a decent graphics card to support graphically intense games. For emulator's correct work, it is recommended to install the latest drivers for the video card and motherboard. For any problems with the displaying, you need to check emulator version and driver version. Let's focus on the four most popular emulators in our opinion. Fourth is Memo Player, an emulator created by Chinese developers. It is not very popular among our users. One of the important features of this emulator is that users can independently set the necessary parameters of the emulated device in the settings, which is sometimes very useful. You can download Memo Emulator on the official website of the developer, memoplayer.com. Some of the pros are GPS simulation, synchronized file access between Windows and Android, installing application with a simple drag and drop, and running multiple Android at the same time. Possible contrasts, there are users' complaints that this emulator doesn't start if some types of antivirus programs are installed on the PC, example Avast. On the number 3 is one of the most popular emulators among gamers, BlueStacks. To work, you just have to install it and run the program, and then create or log on your Google account. After that, you can install and run almost any game and application for Android. You can download BlueStacks emulator on the official website of the developer, bluestacks.com. Some of the pros are streaming mode, ability to choose device to emulate, the ability to select characteristic for your system up to 8 cores and up to 8 gigs of RAM depending on your system, and ability to choose DirectX or OpenGL, though BlueStacks is quite resource intense. On the second place, Nox, a good Chinese emulator with high speed and stability. And also, in comparison with similar programs, it is a more compact and convenient way to emulate. You can download this emulator from the official website noxofficial.com. The pros are transfer files from your computer to the emulator and vice versa with a simple drag and drop. It is convenient, has customizable controls and a lot of functionality that won't leave you indifferent. On the first place will be LD Player which is a free and powerful emulator for Android on PC. It supports a wide range of compatibility when launching high-performance mobile games with a high level of graphics. Thanks to its versatile design and convenient settings, LD Player works better than a real phone. More details about our winner, namely settings, common problems and their solutions, we will consider in a separate guide. That was it for this video, hope it helped a little to decide you what emulator to use for your mobile gaming. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That was Mitty and I'm out.